Hi everyone, it's Elliot from TutorialEdge.net and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at how you can improve the security of your CI pipelines as well as your other processes using the Code Notary VCN offering to notarize any Docker files or files that you may have. Now the first question you may be asking is what is notarization? And to be honest, it's a fair question. Unless you're dealing with systems that require auditing due to how high risk they are, then it's likely that you've never had to deal with this yourself. Now, notarization effectively allows us to validate that a software package hasn't been tampered with in any way. And using notarization, we can generate a checksum at the point at which we build our software artifacts. This checksum is then stored somewhere secure. And when another person wants to verify a particular artifact hasn't been tampered with before they install it, they can then validate against this secure location. So let's take a look at the example we have on the screen here. Now, if you can imagine that I am a producer of Docker files, so say, for example, I developed the, the Golang Docker file and I want to give my consumers a means to verify that the Docker file that they have downloaded from my website hasn't been tampered with, then I could use this notarization flow and effectively help to improve the security for my consumers. Now, the flow would be, I as a producer would create the Docker file. I would then notarize the Docker file using the VCN tool. This checksum that it generates as well as any metadata I want would then be stored by VCN. And then when my consumer downloads a Docker file, they can then do the additional VCN notarization check to validate that the Docker file hasn't been tampered with during this process of downloading it. Now, this flow is incredibly important if you're dealing with high risk systems like payment systems or say cloud platforms where other applications are deployed on top of it and rely on that security that's given to them. And it was something that in my previous career, we had to embuild into the pipelines, the deployment pipelines to ensure that anything that we were deploying was in fact the real deal. It hadn't been at all tampered with or, you know, modified by any malicious hackers. Cool, so that's us covered at a very high level overview, what the notarization flow is and how it helps us as developers. Let's move on to the practical element of this tutorial now and see how we can implement a GitHub action that allows us to implement this flow. Cool, so as you can see here, I've got a simple Docker file, which basically wraps a very simple Golang application. I've also started defining a workflow or GitHub workflow, which will build this Docker image and then publish it to a Docker repository such as Docker Hub. Now, the first thing I want to do is just after the build Docker image task, I effectively want to download the VCN command line tool. And I'm gonna call this download VCN. And this is gonna take an uh, run command. We'll use the pipe operator to signify that there is going to be multiple lines. And then I'm going to paste in uh, the command to curl, perform the checksum and chmod the VCN uh, tool within the temp directory. Now I'm going to leave all of the code for this within the description of this video. So don't worry about copying and pasting it or copying it straight from this video itself. Now, at this point, we will have the VCN command line tool available to us within our GitHub action or the next GitHub action that we take. So we effectively now want to use this prior to pushing to the Docker repository. And we're going to call this notarize Docker image. Like so. And again, we're going to pass in a run block, the pipe command. And the first thing we want to do is to specify VCN user which we're going to pick up from the GitHub secrets. So secrets.codenotary underscore user. The VCN password we want to use to authenticate, which will again be picked up from secrets.codenotary pass. Next, we want to call this CLI. So TMP VCN login. And that will effectively log in to the code notary service for us. Cool, so now that we've logged in to the VCN 
CLI, we can now attempt to notarize the image that we've generated up here, which will be Forbesy notarized image, colon latest. And to do that, we will do the following. So we're going to do VCN notarization password is equal to secrets dot code notary pass, which is the same as the password we used in the command above. We're then going to call the VCN CLI. We're going to use the shorthand form N for notarize. We're going to set the dash P flag to basically enable all of the results to be public. And then we're going to set some of the attributes for this notarization. Now the first one, or the one I want to do for this is GitHub. And I want to notarize this with the first eight characters of the GitHub SHA. And we're going to do GitHub SHA colon zero colon seven. And then finally, we want to pass in the path to the Docker image that we want to notarize. So that's going to be available at docker colon forward slash forward slash Forbesy slash notarized image colon latest. One thing to note is that I have already set up these repository secrets within my repository itself so that when we do come to reference them within our code snippets, they will be available, so they'll be able to see the code notary user, the code notary pass, and so on, as well as the Docker name, username, and Docker Docker password, so that it can then push up the images to Docker Hub. Cool. So once this has been notarized, the actions will then attempt to publish the latest Forbesy slash notarized image up to the repository, and we can trigger this by doing a commit. So git add get to commit all of the changes we've made, notarized our docker file, and then get push origin master to push it up to our repository. Now, if we open up the GitHub actions page within our repository, you can see that it's tried to attempt running the build and publish flow. So it's first off, built the docker image, uh, for update notarized image colon latest. After this point, it's downloaded the VCN CLI and it's successfully added that to the path with the chmod plus x flag set. And then we've run the notarization command. So this has then ran through, signed our image and uploaded it to the notarization service before finally pushing the newly notarized image up to Docker Hub. Perfect. So now that that information is in place, imagine we are now a consumer and we want to verify that the image that we're pulling down is in fact the image that we want to use. Now I can pull down the latest image, docker pull for a notarized image, and then I can use the VCN authenticate command passing in docker for a notarized image colon latest, and then that will upload that image and then it will return the results of the notarization. So as you can see in this case, it has been trusted or it can be trusted and it hasn't been tampered with in any fashion. Now we can use this VCN command line tool within our own pipelines if we wanted to deploy this application and we could have a step that pulls this from Docker Hub, independently checks this and then either passes or fails depending on the trusted status. And that will give us that sort of guarantee and security that we need when we are deploying our applications on top of the likes of these images. Cool. So that is all we're going to cover within this video. We've now managed to publish and notarize a Docker file within our GitHub Actions. In the next video, we're going to be taking this a step further and looking how we can build GitHub Actions that will effectively wrap around this complexity and provide a far simpler plug and play experience for developers that also want to notarize their own files or Docker images. Now, this video was sponsored by Code Notary, and I'll be leaving a link to them in the description below. If you did like this video, then please let me know in the comments section down below. And if you're new, please like and subscribe to my channel for more programming content. Cheers.